Hey beautiful people, I hope you are keeping safe and well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who I haven't met before, I'm Emma Ryder, Psychic Medium and Divine Channeler and this is the weekly Taurus reading. Please bear in mind that all of my readings are timeless and you will find the guidance that you need to hear at the right time for you. Okay, so we're going to use the Troubadour Tarot for the beginning part of your reading and when we go on to the extended, I'm going to use the Lightseer Tarot and some Oracle cards. Okay, Taurus, what do you need to know this week? Feels a bit like... I want to say that the feels is a stirring of emotions, okay? And... It feels important not to jump to conclusions. It feels important to try and separate what's happening now to what's happened in the past because it feels like the emotions are getting all mixed up and that is creating some some like doubts, some uneasiness should we say uneasiness yeah maybe it's this um it's just making things not be as clear as they should be for right now what's happening let's have a look at more what the cards give us i'm going by the emotions i'm feeling it feels almost like my solar plexus is like a tumble dryer and it's trying to make sense of everything but while you're going through that energy of trying to make sense of everything. Everything's getting jumbled up and mixed up. Okay. And the first card out is the Five of Bream. <laughs> and they do look a bit jumbled up, mixed up there, don't they, in the water. And it is pretty a dull, dreary day. And it actually feels like these mixed emotions are bringing your energy down, are pulling you down. So it's more difficult to it's more difficult to find clarity and feel what's happening clearly it's all just mixed up so don't make any hasty decisions know that what you're thinking and feeling at the moment isn't actually reality and there's a lot of different aspects adding to how you're feeling right now okay we then have the eight of bream which is they're trying to catch them with that net but it's very much you can work this out together the conclusions will come together okay i feel it's very significant that there's two people in the first card overlooking that mixed emotions and involved in those mixed emotions okay and then there's two people trying to catch those fish and sort it out in the second card and it really feels very much like it's important to sort it out together don't jump to your own conclusions make sure you get facts from the people involved okay don't jump to their own conclusions that feels really important okay then we've got the king of chalices so this is misunderstandings around a love relationship i would say and it's important to ask for the information you're needing instead of jump to conclusions because that is where everything's going to go awry don't jump to conclusions get find the facts it feels important to find facts because together by discussing these facts by being clear with each other it isn't a case of chinese whispers because somebody said that or you think this there's more to this situation and it's definitely you can work it out together okay 
We then have the eight of steeds. By working it out together, by discussing things, by finding the facts, it will move things forward. And I want to say move things forward quicker than you expect because it feels very much like you're on one side of the river at the moment. And this finding the truth of the situation is actually bridging the gap. Bridging the gap between you and bridging the gap between where you're needing to be in your life. Okay. Um, so find the truth of the situation. You can when you ask. Okay. Then we have the nine of bream. No, the six of bream. I can't count. Sorry. Um, and there is that offering there. And I feel like that is the offering of the truth to clear the way and calm this situation down and make everybody be moving it forward in the same direction instead of having these presumptions. Okay. Then we have the more card. And that person... I would go as far to say as it feels very much like that is the strength coming as you join forces and you're moving forward in the same direction because you've had that discussion and it almost feels like this the discussion and the finding the truth brings the strength but it's also, it feels like they are waiting for you to reach out and to get this truth and sort it out. Because while you're jumping to conclusions and presumptions, they're feeling a little bit like, do they really believe that of me? When it's not true? So for more reasons than one, it feels very important to reach out and have that discussion. not to sort it out so you know the truth of the situation but also they're feeling a bit like they should believe in me a little bit more so they're feeling a little bit a little bit disappointed and disheartened that you don't believe in them with more surety then we have the page of chalices. This love is worth the working for, the worth the effort to put it in, to make it happen, to find the truth, to work on it. This love is worth that work, is worth that effort. And is, it will be worth the effort because you're going to put it in. I, I do believe you will, Taurus. Okay, I'm going to head over to the extended reading now to get more information of this situation and where this love situation is leading. If this is where you leave me, then thank you so very much for joining me. As always, it is a pleasure. Please do like and comment on the video if you feel drawn. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. I truly do appreciate each and every single person supporting the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Please do take care, stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Namaste. Bye.